On Monday, the chefs went head-to-head -head in the kitchen over their starter course. But you don't get to become a Michelin-starred chef by having self-doubts, and these two started the competition brimming with confidence. I think I have a slight edge on him menu-wise. His food, I would imagine, would look really good. I think mine should taste better. Paul Rankin's been at the cutting edge of the food scene back in Northern Ireland for 18 years. He won the first Michelin star ever to be awarded there. The way I'm going to approach the British menu thing is to take some of the simple things and perhaps just bring them up to date. And there might be a few foreign techniques in there. Paul's going to combine his international experience with Ulster produce throughout his menu. The guts, the proper part of, of each dish, has a Northern Irish food hero. But yet, you know, to cook, I'm using a little bit of olive oil, I'm using a little bit of lemon here and there, a little bit of mustard from France, etc. I'll just describe that as poetic license, really. And he's had a neat idea about how to approach the competition. Get a move on, huh? Yeah. When I'm cooking, I, I always try and bear in mind who I'm cooking for. It's the Queen's 80th birthday. My mum is uh, 75 this year. So in a way, I'm so, I sort of feel like I'm cooking for a posher version of my mum. Yesterday, Paul reworked the classic prawn cocktail for his starter course. When the chefs tasted each other's work at the end of the day, Richard gave grudging praise to his rival. I mean, I would expect really nothing else from him, you know what I mean? If I, if I put my mouth in that and had to spit it out, there'd be something seriously wrong. Richard also chose seafood for his starter. But his dish was radically simple. Organic smoked salmon, lini, so with some wild lettuces you could save from the forest. Paul liked it, but he was quick to find fault. Oh, Blinny's a bit dark underneath, eh? Ooh, Richard. Having grown up in the Irish countryside, Richard now works in central London. He's won a Michelin star on two occasions and has a hearty style of cooking, which he feels is a world away from his rivals. Paul is specialised in that kind of modern... Uh, Mediterranean-style cuisine, which I've never been a fan of. Hi. Culturally, it's, it's... I don't feel happy cooking it. Richard has a reputation for cooking innovative but unpretentious food. I don't want things to be pretty and, you know, just put it on the plate. We don't put chopped shallots or gherkins on our smoked salmon, you know what I mean? Because why the f would you? You know, we have the best smoked salmon that you can get in the world. It comes from Northern Ireland, by the way. <laughs> 